Pinball may be a rarity these days, but not here at Reciprocal Skate Shop in New York City. The New York City Pinball League is hosting a match for the ages. And if you want to rock this tournament right, you get this man. Hello there, my name is Andrew WK and I'm here in New York City to check out the bloody, hardcore and very dangerous world of competitive pinball. Let's get this party started. <laughs> What started as a social gathering for friends has turned into a friendly, citywide competition. How did this all begin? I mean, what fueled your uh, desire to create this beyond a love of pinball? When I moved back to New York City, I, I just uncovered a ton of pinball machines out in the bars, mm. and I started bringing other people out. And I bring them to, the, to a pinball machine, and after they go, what's this? They, they can't walk away from it. And I wanted to do something to celebrate that, and the league just kind of gelled out of that. And, you know, Pinball New York City was born. So it's almost like the, the, the best arcade ever that's spread out over many locations rather than trying to like do it all under one roof. You're saying that the whole city of New York is the Pinball Arcade. I don't think I've ever heard anyone say it more elegantly than that. So what exactly is going on tonight? There's a lot of folks in the house, a lot of pinball playing going on. What is this? This is week five of the Pinball League. It's a, a league that takes place all throughout the city at different locations. We have a home team, and every other week we play at home, such as tonight. And tonight we're playing against Enid's team, and we go four rounds, two rounds of doubles. After that round is over, we go to singles, and then everybody plays one-on-one. -on -one. Tonight's matchup pits Reciprocal Skate Shop's home team, the Terrorists, versus the Darker Horses. Well, just when I thought tonight couldn't get any partier, the terrorist team have actually invited me to compete with them on not only the doubles, but also the singles for the Twilight Zone game. This is a very great honor. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to tremble. I'm going to shake, but I'm going to play pinball. In the doubles match, the terrorists paired Andrew with team captain John Elrich. The game against the Darker Horses was intense, but in the end, Andrew lost two games for the home team. Fortunately, there was room for redemption. In the singles match, Andrew obliterated his opposition, Joel Hanek of the Darker Horses, by a wide margin. I beat you. I, 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 I won. Yes, you beat me very badly, yes. No, it, and I, I will say you played very well. Uh, you had a great game in, the, uh, the, the, of course, the doubles. But I, I won and beat you at Twilight Zone. And for this, I feel... Uh, I don't know, very human almost, very humble, but 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 like a prideful kind of humble. You should, you earned it. I mean, you more than doubled my score. It's embarrassing. Thank you very much. So I'm here with the winning team from tonight's tournament, the pinball champions, the terrorists. Make some noise. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for letting me play on your team tonight and uh, lose some of your games for you. That was a great honor. And uh, let's keep the party going. Hey! Yeah!